G'day everyone, it's Turbo Tristan here. Today we've got a bit of a weird video for everyone. Uh, I'm going riding on a push bike, but it's not just any push bike. I was lucky enough to get myself an Engway EP2 Pro e-bike. Now, first impressions, looks a little weird. Uh, I'll be the first person to say that I'm not much of a cyclist, even though I am technically middle-aged. I'm not gonna be donning the spandex anytime soon. I actually really dislike cyclists, but I really do like fast things. And this is pretty fast. This has an electric motor. It's got 750 watts and it's actually a weapon. This thing is verging on the edge of danger because it can crack up to 60 Ks an hour with a little bit of a hack that I'll show you guys later on. Uh, the hack that Rex H taught me because he's had a couple of these for a couple of weeks. Mine turned up around about a week ago. I've had a very small play with it. It comes pretty much assembled in the box. You just need to put on the front wheel, which is a couple of nuts here. Put on your mudguard, put on your light, which it has its own lights, front and rear, and attach the, I was almost gonna call it a steering column then, the uh, gooseneck and the handlebars for the bike. So that's all ready to go on there. And then yeah, just stick this on, even has a little bell. All the magic is just in here. There is a big lithium ion cartridge in there, couple of keys. And to access the battery, it's just a matter of flicking this open and then you fold the bike in half like so. A Little bit tricky to do one person with one hand, but there it is there, clicks on there. You've got your key underneath and then you've got the locking pin that slides through so it can't come out. And then you can see just there, locking pin. Uh, it comes with this little basket on the back. It's got uh, Shimano gears, pretty awesome. And it's got some little brake lights. I think it would be really cool to customize one of these. I'd like to get rid of all the fenders and take the basket off, lower the seat down, move it to the back and um, yeah, put some different handlebars on there, but it looks pretty cool. I love the logo they've got, it's pretty awesome. They all come with a chassis number on there so they can be registered. They've got their own built-in screen up here, which I'll show you through in a moment. Disc brakes all the way around. One thing to mention is you do get all of the tools you'll need to put the whole bike together. So they're all there, comes in its own little tool kit. Info about all the pedals, instructions, user manual, warranty, all of that is all right there, nice and simple to use. This is how much I ride bikes. I had to go and buy a helmet because you need one of those in Australia to ride legally on the road. Yep, pretty crazy, but this thing does go 60 Ks an hour once you hack it. I've only really ridden this bike in my street and I've got to 56 Ks an hour already. Uh, it's got adjustable suspension in the front. Nice big fat four inch tires so you can do a little bit of off-roading if you want to. I do have a couple of small criticisms already, uh, even though I haven't really used it too much. One thing with an electric bike with a massive battery that will get you 120 kilometers range um, if you, you know, pedal and all that sort of stuff, use a pedal assist, doesn't have any USB chargers, which I think would be awesome for those people that are using the bike to commute around and do jobs like deliveries, stuff like that. I think these would be very popular with those kinds of people. The other thing is if you're over six foot, it is pretty compact and a tight squeeze. On a good day, I'm getting old, starting to shrink now, but I'm around about six foot three when I'm all stretched out. Yeah, this is very tight. A couple of my mates have already joked about seeing me ride around on a bike. Um, yeah, I look huge on it. So it's real simple to turn on. You just hit the button just underneath there. You've got the really nice bright LED display. You can turn that brightness up and down if you like. I think I've got it set to max. And then you've got um, lights, which you can turn on. You can see that just there, light on, light off. But mega, mega bright. We've got tail lights as well, which are pretty awesome. Let's turn those off so we don't flatten our battery. So that's off. And then you also have another button at the top, which rotates through your little information screen here. So average speed, kilometers an hour, 
all that sort of stuff. Odometer. Yeah, now there is a menu here. If you hold these two buttons down, you've got a couple of different things there. Alrighty, so here we are about to hack the bike. Now it's turned on. I've already done it to make sure it works, but what you need to do is hold the plus and minus button. Gives you this setting, and then you grab the information and the minus. Brings you to this screen. And then what you want to do is flick across to LS. You can see there I've got it turned up to 60. That means 60 kilometers an hour is the max speed. And then to save that, you just turn it off and turn it back on again, and all your settings are saved. So I'm going to chuck on my helmet, go for a little run, and uh, see if we can crack 60 Ks an hour without getting busted. jump another jump well we're macking now so time to go onto the road let's go for some top speed So back home now, you've seen me fang this thing. I think I got to 58 k's an hour, give or take. I wasn't looking at the speedo the whole time. I was trying to see where I was going and dodge cracks and jumps and all the buckles in the footpath and all that sort of stuff. Honest opinion time, feedback, all that sort of stuff. First things first, don't be a cyclist. Don't ride on the road. Don't wear spandex and hold up traffic and all that sort of stuff. Having said that, I do love this bike. It is really, really fast. It does help that you actually don't have to do any pedaling or anything to get up to those kinds of speeds. You can just fang around, have a mad time. And to be honest, I'm really, really looking forward to meeting up with Rex and Peter or Lachlan or whoever else is gonna come for a ride and we can terrorize a park or something off-road in one of these. And the three of us can go for a run or anyone else that's got one we can all go hang out and do e-bike things there are some legality issues with these bikes so i am told i haven't looked into it yet but a friend of mine was just around here and he told me that he got booked for unlicensed unregistered all that sort of stuff and speeding on his bike um, it wasn't one of these it was another one actually i think it might have even been a scooter but still there's some gray areas about registering them and all that sort of stuff in Australia. It's still a bit iffy, a bit gray. 
once you do the hack and you get this thing flying though i can see why it's you know they're, they're just trying to crack down on it they do go quite fast 60 k's an hour on a pushy is flying and uh if you didn't weigh as much as me and weren't as much of an aerodynamic uh wind break or wind sail as me you'd probably go 60 or a bit over downhill but um yeah it does mad skids it flies it looks cool it's pretty comfortable i would like to do some customization to this thing mainly thanks to engway for sending this out uh, i really enjoyed the opportunity and yeah this is not my normal regular thing and i don't expect a lot of you guys to watch this but if you do want one or if you're not one of my subscribers but you just want to look up these bikes i do recommend them if you're allowed to legally drive them on the road they're, they're a bunch of fun they handle good they brake well they've got great range they're really easy to assemble they're easy to use there's heaps of tutorials online about how to set up the speed and all the different customizations that you can do in the screen uh, there was a couple of surprise jumps that i hit when i was out there a couple of foot paths that had some pretty steep cracks in them and i thought i was gonna come a buster but actually just stood up and took it like i was on the bmx and yeah it was fine did a few jumps don't expect this to turn into a cyclist channel that is definitely not me i just can't handle cyclists on the road make jokes whatever but if you do want one links in the description it's a lot of fun i wish i had 15 mates with these and we could all go bash around the indusso area and just have some mad races and stuff they actually hammer i'm on the fence i'm not into cycling not into push bikes i do like electric vehicles i do like the fact that you can fang this around and you don't have to do any pedaling so you can stay fat if you want to you can pedal otherwise yeah is what it is so you'll see from time to time that i'll do some weird reviews or some things like cd players head units bluetooth stuff led lights push bikes with electric engines in them from time to time and that's just because companies reach out they ask me to try things if they're free they're for me so i give them a go and i really really enjoyed this one it was fun i am going to use this a lot if i've got to whip out to the paint shop or to autobahn or to bunnings or you know get some food or whatever and my car's on jack stands then i'm definitely going to use this thing because it hammers like you got no idea what it feels like doing 60 k's an hour on a pushy like this one of those things you don't think of when you're a kid going downhill on your push bike but nowadays you come off one of these on the tar and you are buggered but this is definitely faster than all of your cars that are at home in the garage on jack stands so don't knock it till you tried it thanks for watching don't forget to spool up bring the boost and we'll see you in the next one back to regular scheduled programming after this.